Hey guys, what's up? This is Anosuke, and this is my tutorial on how to install the Club Syndicate Extreme Mook and Screen Pack. The reason I'm doing this? Well, this is a thank you towards uh, Sin for taking time out of his day to answer some questions I posted. And I uh, saw that a lot of people were requesting the video, so uh, I thought I'd just, you know, make it myself. You know, save Sin the trouble. But uh, I'm going to be separating this into two different parts. Uh, the first part will be installing it normally. And the second part is going to be um, doing it with the optional Versus Screen add-on. And yes, I will be following Sin's instructions to the letter. With a couple of deviations here and there. Alright. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your character roster and separate it into these three distinct categories. There's normal for all your normal everyday use characters. There's miscellaneous for all your boss characters. And then there's high res for all your high resolution and tall normal characters. Alright, ignoring that top folder up there because for some reason I got a test character with this. Um, open up your rounds folder. Now, You'll see that you'll find folders marked 5, 7, and 9 rounds. Why are they important? Well, I'll show you. Open up your, opening up your fight.def uh, file, which is in your data folder. Use the find function to find the match.wins variable of the, um, of the fight definition code. Now, change it from the standard 2 to uh, either 3, 4, or 5. These numbers actually correspond with the helper codes that's within each of those folders. Use three, well, use five if you want to win three matches, seven if you want to win four, and nine if you want to win five. If you do the math, it actually makes a lot of sense. All right. Once you've chosen how many rounds you want to actually fight for, open up that rounds folder and you'll find that there is a corresponding folder for each of your character folders that you have. Take that code and copy it into the folder. Why copy? That way, just in case you mess up, you have the original and you don't have to go back, you know, and re-download or re-unzip anything. Then, take the code and drag it down to your patches folder. Okay, guys, two things. Well, the first one I forgot to mention, make sure that you save your fight definitions file. Otherwise, all the changes you just made to everything will be moot. Oh, and second of all, uh, this is where the tutorial splits. If you want to go on and actually do the optional versus screen, go to part two. Otherwise, keep watching. Alright guys, after dragging the specific uh, helper codes that you needed for your characters, now go into each folder and run the lash executable. Lash executable, sorry. Now, if you did it correctly, it should look like this. And you should see that the lash should be patching all the codes to the command, control, uh, constant, and uh, animations files for your characters. Make sure you do this for each one or else your characters won't work right for the screen pack. I also like to take time out now to thank Sin for doing something like this because this takes a whole hell of a lot of work out of people manually adding stuff. I mean, doing that is hell. Hey guys, pat yourself on the back. You just finished the first two steps of this thing. And guess what? Those were the most difficult. Now we get on to the fun part. Adding characters. Now that you've taken care of that other crap, open up your data folder and go into your select.def file. Just right click it and press edit and it should open just fine. Now, as you can see, I've already added my characters. And if I go down here, then you can see exactly how I added my stages. Here's how to add them. First, you need to delete the add character here line, especially that semicolon. If you don't delete the semicolon, your stuff will not show up. 
Second, you need to add the character type slash character net character file name slash character definitions file. Then place a comma at the end and repeat. Here are some examples for you. See how the folder name and the def file name are the same? Do this in order to keep yourself from being confused. To add stages, all you need to do is just add state, just put stage in the stage def name. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. All you got to do is just save and then run it. Hopefully this helped you out at one point or another. This is Anoske signing out, and see you later.